Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Tanya and today we are going to discuss NCRT solutions for grade 5, chapter 4, parts and whole. So are you all ready? Let's get started with the very first concept over here. We are going to understand about parts and holes through our Indian flag. Okay, so as we see our Indian flag carefully, you must notice that the saffron, white and green, they are all divided into three equal parts. Okay, we have three equal parts and out of these three, the first one is saffron, the second one is white, the third one is green. Right. Now, because they are all equal parts, can I say that the fraction for saffron part is going to be one part out of three equal parts? Right. Right. Because this one is part out of three, that is three is going to be the whole. Right. Yes. Same is with the green part. It's also one out of three equal parts. So, for green also, the fraction is going to be one third. One part out of three equal parts. Right? Coming back to the questions over here. Now, the top one third of a flag is saffron as we have just discussed. Okay? What is the color of the middle one? We all know it's white. Where will you draw the Ashoka Chakra? The Ashoka Chakra is right over here at the center. How much of the flag will you color green? Now, we all know that it's going to be equal as the saffron part. So, it's also going to be one third as we just saw over here. So, let's write over here. The green color part is also one third. Right? Let's move ahead. Is the white color now less than one third of the flag? Why? Now, let's understand over here carefully. Though the white part is also one third, but because we have a Shoka Chakra in the center, so the total white color is actually less than the one third. Okay, everyone? All right. So now that we have understood the concept of parts and holes through our Indian flag, let's now move forward to some more flags. Okay, to understand more about fractions, more about parts and holes. Now look at this flag. So here we have flag of Afghanistan. How much of it is black? Okay, if you look at here carefully, we have from this flag also, we have three equal parts. The first one is black, second one is red, third one is green. Right. So, black is also colored one out of three equal parts. So, the answer for this is going to be one thirds. Okay. With that, let's move to the second part. The green part of the flag can be written as, you all take a guess and mention in the comments below. Yes, that is also going to be one third, one out of three equal parts. Right. Okay. Is red less than one third of the flag? Why? Now, taking the logic back from here regarding the white part, same logic applies over here. Now, though red whole is one third, but because we have the emblem in the center, the red part is actually less than one third. Okay? With this, now let's have a look at the third flag. That is the flag of Myanmar over here, our neighboring country. Okay? Is blue more than one-fourth of the flag? No, first of all, there's one question in my mind. What do you understand by one-fourth? What is one-fourth? One-fourth is actually one part out of four equal parts. Okay? Now, there are four equal parts and one is going to be a part of it. Alright? So, taking, um, making lines over here, we can see that over here, the flag is now divided into four equal parts. But if we look at over here carefully, this blue part is actually less than one fourth. What is one fourth? One fourth is going to be this whole box. This whole box over here, that is one part out of four equal parts. Correct. Is blue more than one fourth of the flag or less? Definitely, it is less. Okay. Guess how much of the flag is red? Is it half? Is it more than half? Now, what would be half of the flag? If you look at here carefully, half of the flag would be if we just divide the flag into two equal parts. Okay, which means one part out of two equal parts. So, 
uh, is it more than half? Definitely, yes, it's more than half. Is it more than three fourths? Now, three fourths is what? As we look at over here carefully, okay, three fourths is one, two, three, and then we have some part of red in the fourth part also over here. So, yes, it is also more than three fourths. All right, everyone. So, now that this is understood, let's move on to our practice time through some more questions. Okay. So, here we have the very first question related to the chocolate bars. Okay. Now, there's this girl Manju and Manju is very fond of chocolates. Okay. She has this chocolate bar. Let's count the number of um, bites in the chocolate bar. Okay. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So, there are 12 pieces in the whole chocolate bar. Okay. So, she gave one fourth of it to Rajiv. Now, to Rajiv, she gives one fourth. What is one fourth? One fourth. Like one part out of four equal parts. Now, one fourth of 12. One fourth of 12. We have to find. We have to find one fourth of 12, which means we'll multiply one fourth by 12. If we simplify it, we will get the answer three places. Okay. So, Raji gets three parts out of 12 equal parts. Okay. One third of the chocolate is given to Sugatha. Okay. One third of the chocolate, which means one third will be now multiplied by 12. Correct. Okay, now if we simplify this as well, we get 4 pieces as the answer. So, Sugatha gets 4 pieces out of 12 equal parts. Okay, and 1 sixth to Sheila. Now, of this chocolate, 1 sixth is given to Sheila. You all take a guess. What would be 1 sixth of 12? Let's pause the video over here and then come back to find the correct answer. Let's solve it together now. 1 sixth of 12, which means 1 sixth multiplied by 12. Which when we simplify, we get the answer. Think carefully. Yes, that's two pieces. Okay. So now, um, Sheila has got two pieces. How many pieces of chocolate did each get right here? We are done with these. Sheila, Sugatha and Raji. Now, what part of chocolate did Manju eat? Now, we know that Manju will get the remaining parts of the chocolate. Let's find the remaining. Okay. So, for Manju, let's find the answer. Okay. 12 minus what is given to the other three girls? 3 plus 4 plus 2. Which means we have to subtract 9 from 12 and we get the answer 3. Alright. So, Manju has got 3 chocolates out of 3 pieces out of 12 pieces. Alright everyone, now that we are done with this question as well, let's move forward to another interactive question that is color the hats. Now this is going to be very very fun and interesting. Okay, now here are lots of hats in front of us. Let's count the number of hats first of all. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that's a lot, 11, 12, 13, 14 and here we have the 15th heart. Lots of hearts, isn't it? Okay, so now here we have to color one third of the heart red. Okay, now we all know what one third of means, which means we have to find one third of means multiply. Total number of hearts is 15. So let's find one third of 15. When we simplify it, we get the answer as 5 hats. So, we are going to color 5 hats as red. Okay. So, here we color first one, second one, third one, fourth one and the fifth one as well. Alright. Let's move on to the second part. Color 3 fifth hats blue. Okay. 3 fifth. 3 fifth means 3 out of 5 parts. So, 3 fifth of 15. Let's simplify it. We know that 5 times 3 is 15. We multiply 3 and 3 and we get the answer 9. So, now how many hats are to be colored blue? Yes, that's 9. 
so let's choose blue color now here we go let's color nine hats blue one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay let's move on to the third part how many hats did you color red we all know that that is five and how many did we color blue that's nine right in front of us what part of the hat are not colored as we can see over here just one hat is not colored so yes just one hat is not colored and what part of the hat so uh, we will find that also it's over here in front of us we had 15 hats and out of that five and nine were already colored okay we subtract 15 and 14 and we get the answer one correct everyone okay so with this now let's move on to the next question which we will now see in the upcoming videos all right everyone now that we are done with this part let me know if you all understood what we have understood over here in this video i'll see you all in the next video regarding the next questions until then keep learning and keep exploring goodbye everyone